Greetings and welcome to Old Drunken Discography. I'm Jason. With me is Bill. Oh, yes. And Tim. That would be me. And our returning special guest, Cowboy. Hey, hey. He is our A's hair metal specialist. (laughs) We are talking Cinderella. We're talking our top songs from Cinderella. Um... Go check out the playlist link down below. We've already ranked all the albums. We've already talked about all the albums. So if you watch those, you can kind of guess where we're going with this. If you haven't, shame on you. Um, so this was Bill's pick. He, he got to choose the order of the people who are going to talk first. And he chose Tim to lead us off. Yeah, and I did not have an opening track, so I'm going to call an audible. And I'm going to start us off with the the title track from the first album, also the first song, Night Songs. Ooh, that's actually a steal. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't a nice. steal for me, but I, I that that's a good opening track. That's I feel like that's a good opener. Yeah. You know, and I'm I'll follow that up with another opening track, actually, Um, because I feel like we could actually these two opening tracks would work well together off of still climbing the bad attitude. Interesting. Okay. Bad attitude shuffle. Yes, I feel like that. Yeah, no, that's it's great. That's a solid. That's solid. That's why. That's a nice intro we got to this playlist. Okay, I can save mine for later then, because it was it was just my number two. I was gonna bump up number five for opening track, but I didn't have to go first, so I'm gonna go with Heartbreak, Shelter Me. Oh, uh, which one was talking? Uh, Shelter Me is a steal for me. That that was one of my extras. It's not your number one, right? I still get it. Uh, Yeah, I know you're fine. Okay. Yeah, (laughs) Yeah, I mean, this was a straight southern rock, rock and blues with little Beatles thrown in. I fucking dug this one. Like, this had some shit going on. That's a good one. All right, cowboy. All right, mine's going to be The More Things Change Off of heart, uh, Heartbreak Station. Huh. Oh, interesting. Oh, you got number one, an uh, opening track. Interesting. Damn, now I wish I would have fucking stuck with the trend. <laughs> That's the most opening tracks I think we've ever had. <laughs> I'll give them that. They, they, they have some strong openings. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, Bill. You're up oh, first okay. this time. Let's see. Number two. Let's go with... Don't want to do this. You know, let's go back again from Still Climbing. And Shit. We are going to go with Blood from a Stone. That's a steal. Oh, damn. That's perfect. That's fucking perfect. Because my next one was still climbing. Still climbing. No, I'm sorry. No, it was uh, fucking shit. (laughs) No, no, sorry. No. It's off long winter. It's second wind. Okay. This one like snapped me back into it. The B side starts picking up again. It's a good one. It's a good one. All right, Cowboy, you're up next. Number four. Number four is going to be... It's probably going to be Somebody Save Me from Night Songs. Hmm. Somebody say Okay. All right. 
Tim, whose, whose list has been decimated. It has. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I'm going to stick with night songs, and I'm going to go once around the ride. Ooh. Okay. All right, Jason, time for you to start. I'm going to go off night songs as well. Don't you do it. <laughs> I swear to God. I'm going to go nothing for nothing. You son of a... This motherfucker rocks, dude. Um, It should have been a single. I think they would have fared yeah. better. Like, th- th- this was a badass song off their yeah. debut. So that that was my number two. That was that's a phenomenal song. Yes. Phenomenal steal. Because I ain't worried about the other two. Because you guys didn't talk shit. You didn't talk anything about the other two. <laughs> I don't think anyone's picking my number one. So, I'm only worried about Cowboy picking my number one. <laughs> Gypsy Rouge. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Cowboy, you, Cowboy. You up next, number three. Number three gonna be nobody's fool. No, it's not. Off. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Did he get it? <laughs> oh. He got it, but yeah. No, no. it's not. <laughs> You got to pick something else, Cowboy. That's Bill's number one. He overrode you. <laughs> this is number one, right? Well, that's my number. No. Nope. That's my number three. That's the rules. You can't. No right. repeats. That's my number, number one, one. You can steal uh, it. All right. The last mile. Off what? Long Cold Winter. Yep. Damn, I guess he was you was right about that. He he straight up tried to he jack did. your shit. Yeah, I love right how it right it. before. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I said that was the only one I was worried about stealing it. <laughs> wow. I didn't have that one on my list at all. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I, that, I, I knew. All right. All right, Tim, what's your <laughs> I mean, uh, off of still climbing. I gotta go with freewheeling. Hmm. Oh, I had to check. <laughs> it's it's not. That's a ripping song. That song rips. Yeah, it's not free falling, but it's free. It's not free falling. It's free wheeling. Free falling is the road still long. Yeah. No, this one gave me like a highway star vibe. Yeah, yeah, this is a good one. Mm. I support that choice. Yes. All right. All right, so Bill. Me, I'm going to go. I'm going to go off of Long Cold Winter. And I'm going to know go with Don't Know What You Got Till It's Gone. You can have mm. that one. I figured I could have that one. <laughs> not a steal. I, I figured it would be. Cowboy, that's you not your number. That one. You stole that one. That's my number. I got that. What was it? Is, is it your number one? Yes. Do you want to over, Do you want to override Bill and say he can't have it? He can't have it. It's gone. It's gone. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no. hey, that's you why I got extra. You one. don't know what you got till it's gone, Bill. <laughs> and it's fucking gone. Goddamn God! It was here. No, it's and I gone. It <laughs> Fucking seven right. syllables. Gotta get at least there. four syllables in that word. <laughs> All right. So I'll tell you what. Let's go. Sorry. To... <laughs> Can't go to, help. Uh... Oh, you're fine. Hey, he stole your fucking. Nobody's that... fool. We, we, yeah. we, we, our threes and ones were interchanged. That's wait. Fine. Hold on. Oh. Wait. I don't have nobody's fool on the damn board. You want because that's my number one. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we didn't get there yet. All right. You guys are even. Y'all are a bunch of thieving motherfuckers. Yeah. All right. So actually, I'm gonna go then off of Heartbreak Station. Oh. Um. Man, you guys didn't like it. 
I like the, I, I love kinda, the first half. I kind of did though. I'm gonna put Electric Love at number three. Ooh, I man. actually kind of like that song. I don't support that pick. I know you don't, but that's okay. <laughs> All right, Cowboy, lead us off with number two. Gypsy Road. Damn. I was counting on that being your number one. <laughs> yeah, that's my number two. That was not a steal for me. I thought that was pretty generic and radio ready. Yeah, I, I but didn't put it on my list. We probably we get some comments down below if we didn't put Gypsy Road on here somewhere. So Probably, yeah, but that's okay. Bring on I mean, the cup bands. I mean, we did Def Leppard top songs, though. Pour some sugar on these. So. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. And we, we didn't have. Hey, uh, you know, we're we're telling you the truth here at ODD. I'll tell you what the actual right. songs yeah. you should listen. We don't put Albatross on our top COC songs. Nope. <laughs> Great song, but I don't remember our top songs. <laughs> Go watch that and let us know what we picked number one. And then we watch had... this and let us know what we picked too, because we're not going to remember this one either. No, nope, nope. we won't remember this one either. All right, Tim, what's your number two? Uh, my number two is going to go back to still climbing. I'm going to go talk is cheap. Shut up and dance. <laughs> talk is cheap. That's a good song to have on here. Yeah, I liked that one. All right, my number two then. Let's go with. Let's see what one have that? Ah, uh, see, I haven't. Let's go to Long Cold Winter. And let's do. <laughs> Let's do if you don't like it. Okay. I was worried for a second. I was worried. Yeah, it's got a cool riff, cool drums. That's that's yeah. a decent song. Yep, yeah, I say it just while well it oh. I liked how it sounded. It's actually to me on that album is one the more interesting songs that I liked. After, you know, don't know what you got till it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> I never even had it. Never even had it. I'm I'm gonna follow up with that off long cold winter and go with the opening track. Yeah. And they all and make it. Mistress. Yep, they all fucking make it. That was a good song. Ooh, we don't have any their my other outros are all okay, but we don't have any outros on here yet. Well, we about to come up on the end. We might have some Well, it's just so me and Jason with uh, with unknown picks here. Yeah, we know what you two guys got. Yeah. Shocker's on us. Well, Tim, I think we're back to Tim being first. Off of Heartbreak Station. The pinnacle of my laughter was Love's Got Me Doing Time. <laughs> we gotta watch our heartbreak station video if you haven't watched that yet. Yeah, it's, it's a good time. Good. What a song! Oh my! <laughs> Aerosmith had a song called "Do in Time." Yeah, yeah. All hearts, permanent vacation. Hearts done time. Hearts done time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which I think is a cover song, but I could be wrong. Now All right, Bill, see. what's your number one? Well, surprise, surprise, off Night Songs, Nobody's Fool. My God. Not your fool. <laughs> this was, I will admit, this was a song that got me into Cinderella. Um, I heard this song actually a month or so before I heard Gypsy Road. And the Gypsy Road just tipped you over the edge, didn't it? <laughs> no, see, I, I, was, I was never really a big fan of Gypsy Row. Oh, okay. Like, like okay. it was the most, it's the one that everyone recognizes. Sure. But I, 
Honestly, I, mean, I don't know what you got was a pretty big hit too. That's the, the one I remember. I remember. Yeah. Don't know what you got. So that's the thing, and I and I remember nobody's fool. At I mean that's I mean all their ballads from Cinderella actually kind of I like to an extent. Yeah, they had um, good ballads. Yeah, just nobody's fool. Love the lyrics. Mm-hmm. Love how it goes. Love the kind of it's cool stuff they do with some synth and stuff on there, like. Yeah, great song. That's why it's my number one. All right, my number one is off of Still Climbing. Ooh. Uh, I'm, I'm bothered. <laughs> I'm going to go with Hard to Find the Words. Interesting. Okay. Um, Nobody really talked about this one. I kind of breezed over it. but I mean, it sounds like it could have been on Acne Diamonds. Yeah, yeah. Um, this is the one where like I immediately went to Freebird on the intro. It's fifty right. percent oh, right. Freebird, fifty forty five percent Simple Man, five percent Country Twang. Uh, just for that, I'd give it a thumbs up. Top song contender. It's the lyrics are super sweet. It's you know it's to his mother, which is it. It has that Simple Man Southern song to his mom and i think they pulled it off i think it was a really sweet song his vocals were like not really doing that that axel rose shit like it was just a good fucking song i okay. liked it cool and cowboy what's your number one favorite cinderella song of all time you don't know what you've got till it's gone Till it's gone. You don't know what you got. Till it's gone. <laughs> I just love the way the song, the way it was arranged with the piano, how it, how it comes in with the piano in the beginning, and and how it you know just breaks down. It's and one of those whoo songs. Yeah, it makes your hair, uh, hair on your arm stand up song. So. Gives you them DCs. I mean, but, but is it better than Home Sweet Home by Motley Crue? No, I can't say it's better than Home Sweet Home by Motley Crue. Okay. That one there is untouchable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the top songs within the Cinderella 4 album. Sure, but just just trying to put it in perspective. Yeah, it's, it's a good perspective. I mean, bringing on the heartbreak. Is, is it better than Born to Be My Baby by Bon Jovi? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's better than that. Is okay. it is it better than You Give Love a Bad Name? Absolutely. <laughs> no way. Uh, no, man. That's not a ballad. <laughs> okay, you want to go Bon Jovi oh, ballads? Want a Dead or Alive? Living on a Prayer is a ballad. Is it better than Want a Dead or Alive? Mm, no. Yes. Yes. It, no. It's no, it's not. <laughs> Want it. Come on. <laughs> Let me ask you this final question Is it better than Every Rose Has Its Thorn? Huh? No, it's not. Did you just confer yeah. with the wife? Yes, I confer. Did you with just the phone wife. a friend? Are <laughs> 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 you the lifeline? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, every rose has a story. That's a very, it's a, it's a very well written song. You know. What about cry tough? Cry tough. That's not a ballad. <laughs> I mean, okay. it is. Okay, it is. fair enough. <laughs> I don't know. I, mean, I, I don't know what you got. It, it's a good song. It's it's not bad. Yeah, I'll give you that. Yeah, yeah, it, it works. I just love the way Tom's, you know, the lyrics, the way he sang it, uh, the guitars, the piano, that whole song arrangement was beautiful on it. I still listen to it to this day, and it brings tears to my eyes. So. Make Me mo- too, make but probably mo- for different reasons. Huh? No, it's just it's a it's just a it's a deep song, <laughs> and it can be looked at lots of different ways. You know, everybody interprets it differently. Uh, so bonus cup. Anybody need a bonus cup? 
this is our we call it bonus cup because you know go watch our descendants discography yeah you guys stole all my bonus cuts so i could come up with one if i need to but i'm good yeah i'm good too i don't need a bonus cup tim's good bill is this is your pick is there any songs that we're missing that we definitely should have on here gosh well push push no no push push (laughs) definitely not push push that's more than fine not being on this list. Trust me. Um, I'm going to oh push God. you around. Well, I will. Well, I will. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Fuck yeah. That's Matchbox 20. God damn it. We, we definitely could use Coming Home on this list. Yeah. That's Long Cold Winter, I believe. Yeah. Okay. All right. We'll throw it on there. Okay. <clears throat> Cowboy, you need a bonus bonus song? Yeah, let's see. Um uh, Probably coming home. That's well, that just got put on there. Yeah, so. that's, that's tell you what, tell you what. There. Cowboy yeah. could take coming home, and I could throw a different one on there. Yeah. Okay. All right. Mama, I'm coming home. No, not I that. Mean, that be <laughs> that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's from some All other right. band. I'm not saying the name. I feel bad that I haven't put Long Cold Winter on Armor, but then in that case, my bonus song is the one that I wrestle with every day time I think about Cinderella off of Heartbreak Station, the title track. Ooh, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I was looking at my notes and that was one I was going to pick if I had to. All right. I think that's a pretty solid list. Yeah. So there's only four albums, so... It... Yeah, only four albums. There's a lot of steals this time, you know. At least COC, yeah. we didn't really have many steals because there was ten albums to choose from. <laughs> so we were all over the place. This one was a little, sure. little tighter, a little tighter, a little, you know, had a couple steals. It was all, all, all fun. Oh, yeah, it's gonna oh, yeah. be, yeah, it's gonna be a fun uh, playlist. I would imagine this is gonna be better than any greatest hits compilation they're putting out. What is on their greatest hits? I didn't see one when I when I was looking for notable releases. Like they have a best of. They have a best yeah, of, yeah, but there was nothing the new on it really. No, no, it, no it, nothing it, it, new. It's just a reprise. Yeah, yeah. This is a cash grab. Yep. I think they did a a live album. The, but... They did have a couple live things going on, but. Mm-hmm. Well, it's their greatest hits looks a lot like ours. Mm-hmm. There's a couple of songs that aren't that we didn't pick, but Shake Me. <laughs> uh Hot and Bothered, Winds of Change. Ugh, yeah, I don't But the rest of them we did pick, so <laughs> Well I mean they only have so many it's what, only twenty no not it's what, forty five songs in their entire discography? Sure. So we got over so half. here's the top oh, half. Half. Yeah. yeah. It it was an interesting discography. Like I wasn't completely turned off. I mean, I they they did keep my interest through every album, for better or worse. Uh, sure. You know, I, they weren't as bad as I. They did. I didn't have to listen to any X or Sparkle <laughs> Lounge or any of that yeah. shit. So. Right. Are you eating, boy? For, for, for context, people watching, when I initially picked this discography, Jason's comment was like, "Are you really sure you want to pick Cinderella? Are you sure?" You, you kind of was very hesitant about picking it, and I'm, I'm actually, I'm very content with how, especially the color coding turned out. <laughs> and even cool. for, even for Tim, like I was very content with that. Well, cool. again, like Cinderella, in my mind, and how they were marketed, and how their their image, it was like, this is just a a bootleg 80s hair metal band hair like metal, yeah. all the rest but when you dive into it like they actually like go into some blues and some stones and some skinnered and i ACDC. like 
ACDC, like I like the eighty, I like the seventies rock sound in the sixties, seventies. Sure. So I can I can appreciate that. Whereas Def Leppard never did that. Def Leppard continuously chased the trend. Six, Six years, years after, after the the their fact influences that, were based around a lot of the seventies, though. Sure. High and dry was yeah, yeah. Well, even like Diamond and Star Dante Halo Knight. was very T Rexy. T Rex. Yeah, that's know. true. That's true. Sweet yeah. Slay, Dance, um, They reference a lot of their their Queen. influences in Rocket, the song Rocket. I mean, yeah. right? But that's Pyromania. Pyromania was good. That I'm was ta- still in the eighties. Oh, yeah, I'm talking like nineties Def Leppard and two thousands Def Leppard. Like we didn't get a two thousand Cinderella, but I think if we would have, I don't think they would. I don't think Cinderella like I don't think they were industry plant. I don't think they were trying to chase trends. They were at first, but I think eventually they just started. The dude was just doing a fucking thing. yeah. He was yeah. just doing his southern blues porch rock yeah. shit, yeah. and it wasn't bad, but it wasn't. It wasn't cutting edge. It wasn't cutting edge. It was it very was, like yeah, by it the book. Something you can't find better somewhere else. Right. Yeah. It was a very interesting discography. I'm, I'm glad we got it. We got it in the books. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, in the books. <laughs> Next week we're talking Alice in Chains. That's going to be another interesting discography with Lane and the new singers, and you know, hitting one of those big grunge bands. Yeah. So. Big four. It'll be my pick, I guess, and we'll see what happens. We want to give Cowboy a shout out for joining us again. We'll be covering Poison. I think that was one of Bill's upcoming picks. Yes. So uh, that'd be good. He's staying on this '80s hair metal trend, so we'll just ride it till the fucking cows come home. I don't know. Until Cowboys. <laughs> we'll ride it till that Gypsy Road can't take no more. That's right. We nobody's fool. Can't get blood from a fucking stone. Don't know what you got till it's gone, man. Somebody save me, man. Shelter me now. We're going to wrap this up before I get a bad attitude shuffle. So, shelter me, be safe, make good decisions. We're coming home.